Hello and welcome to Marketing Optimization with Alex Designs. I am your host, Alex Harris, and we're here live at the Ion Interactive Studios <laughs> with Anna Tellerico. How are you doing today, Anna? I'm good. Thanks, Alex. To get started, let's tell the audience about Ion and what you guys do here. We are a software company and we help uh, organizations optimize their landing pages, really any of their sort of post-click experiences. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's a, it's a landing page software that uh, you guys help set up, and then it, it involves A-B testing as well through the optimization process? Exactly, because okay. we think they go hand in hand. Um, so our software allows a marketing organization to um, create any type of what we call post-click experiences, so landing pages, microsites, conversion okay. paths, mm -hmm. marketing app sort of types of experiences, launch them and, and test them, A-B right. or multivariate test them, um, and then get conversion-focused analytics on them as well. So, uh, for instance, uh, in a, in a pay-per-click um, advertising, people are, are clicking on the ad, they're, they're arriving at the landing page, and, and, and your software is essentially optimizing it for their experience. Um, talk about, you know, message match and, and, you know, how creating that relevance to the landing page is, re is really so important for that optimization process. Sure. Well, probably pay-per-click is where landing pages are used the most frequently. Yeah. Um, and that's because you do need message match and this high degree of relevancy. So, um, really message match is probably the most important thing when it comes to a pay-per-click landing page. And what we're looking for is a um, tight continuity between the keyword, the ad, and the landing page. Mm -hmm. And one of the things um, we talk about is that um, whatever words are used and phrasing is used in the ad, that when you land on the page, it's um, immediately obvious, you know, uh, very, very literal, mm -hmm. that the same words and phrasing that was in the ad are um, echoed on the landing page. And when you have that, you have good message match, and it helps reduce your bounce rate. So more people land mm -hmm. um, and stay and take action versus landing and leaving. Yeah, any way you can maximize that return on investment from that, that initial ad, essentially keep the same budget and well, maximize your opportunity. Totally, and it's really, um, it's common sense, right? Yeah. If somebody clicks on an ad, they're clicking on something really specific. Um, they have, you know, specific words that they're seeing that are triggering them to click. So mm -hmm. why not use those same words on the landing page so that they see that they're oh, in yeah. the right place, you know? And, and not even the words. I think that, you know, it comes into the, you guys how you guys change the pictures for the landing pages versus like what states they're in. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of it, um, we do talk a lot about context or, um, you know, just being hyper relevant. Mm -hmm. Is uh, so sometimes that's geolocation. So right. somebody's searching from a particular state, showing them certain images or using certain words um, to increase that relevancy. Sometimes even um, we'll use the same keyword that they searched on and insert it into the copy mm -hmm. um, in strategic places, you know, so that again they sort of see, oh, I was searching for that and this, this page is about that. Um, but we can change images based on past behaviors of a user or, mm -hmm. you know, based on what they're searching. So um, a lot of it is just, you know, making a great page but then sort of hyper-targeting it as oh, yeah. best you can. Yeah. And targeting, you know, that that ideal audience is is, is so important. Yeah. And and you guys talk about you know the high high levels of the funnel and the low yeah. levels of the funnel. Can you explain that to the audience? Yeah, and because it's really important. Uh, again, going back to sort of common sense. Um, You've got searchers who are high in the funnel, meaning they're very far away from ever buying. Mm -hmm. They're just starting to research maybe. Um, they're starting to explore. And the kind of information that they need is different than somebody who's ready to buy. Right. So a lot of times when we're looking at keywords and thinking about what landing pages should they go to, we're thinking about where are they in the funnel. Um, and so if they're high funnel, we're thinking about giving white papers and assessments mm -hmm. and um, things that will help them in their journey. Um, but you know, if they're low funnel, we're thinking about giving features and benefits and pricing um, and a lot of times you can tell where somebody is in the funnel based on their search term. If you can't tell, that's a good place to make sure that on your landing page you have good choices that somebody can make mm -hmm. based on what they're where they're at in the funnel. So we use like we talk a lot about conversion paths where somebody right. can come into a page and you know quickly kind of make a choice and mm -hmm. put themselves into a, a bucket um, where they can then get relevant information. Yeah, and, and you guys have some some really great case studies that you sh that you show on your website. Uh, DHL, Dell, yeah. um, some some really great br brands. 
uh, for you know any type of site, maybe maybe smaller sites, are, are there really some best practices that we can give some takeaways to people to you know try testing on their landing pages or you know any yeah. type of methodology that they should be using if they're if they're not using the Ion software? Yeah, I mean I think that um, one thing I will say is to start with best practices, mm -hmm. but remember they're not you know um, they're not written in stone, so you mm -hmm. always have to experiment. And a lot of times with smaller organizations, they're really afraid to start testing or they know that they should test. Um, but they don't know how to start. And the thing is, is that every click costs money. So if you're not testing and optimizing, you're definitely leaving money on the table. Absolutely. You know, you're you're not maximizing getting more leads or sales, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you want to get from your um, your landing page uh, campaign. So, you know, I think you have to start small. A/B testing, yeah. right? Try. I like to say, you know, try an apple against an orange. Try a landing page against a microsite or right. different layouts. You know, so kind of start big picture. Right. Um, and once you get something that's working, then you can do little tweaks. So yeah. it's just a headline or a button or an image. Yeah, it's creating that essentially that that ideal. Um, scenario for all the different customers you have to really understand your audience so you can test them more Absolutely. and I think yeah. what your software does really well is is test a lot of different things because I think people just stick with oh you know I'm gonna test this button color or test yeah. this headline and that's good enough Yes. You really have to test a lot of stuff in order to really make a big impact. Absolutely. My, my big theme I keep saying lately is landing pages work. Like it's sometimes so dramatic mm -hmm. how you can take a page that's maybe giving you 10 leads a week and have it give you 20 or 30 leads a week in a small organization. Mm -hmm. But you know, to do that, you've got to use best practices and you really do need to test. Yeah. Definitely. Well, yeah, that's it, it. Really has been so interesting to see the web evolve, and, and I know you guys are also testing responsive landing pages yeah. and, and mobile-related stuff for whatever scenario that they're in. Mm -hmm. you know, what have you? What takeaways have you seen from from testing responsive related landing pages? So, so we're seeing some early but small success. We have okay. some customers that are using the software to test responsive pages versus non-responsive pages. You know, sort of standard browser right. pages. Um, and some of the early tests were sort of a statistical draw. Um, right. And but we've had some tests now where the customers have come back and said, you know, the responsive pages are winning. Oh, okay. um, it's just still early, I think. And um, you need to do it. You know. I think it's responsive pages are more important where you know you've got a good um, mobile or you know tablet um, mm -hmm. audience. I think um, so. You've got to sort of sure, pick where you're yeah. going to start testing. Yeah, that ideal audience is is, is so key. Yeah. Um, I th I think you know you guys offer so much great content that I, I want to you know give our audience you know a way to you know you know sign up for your webinars and really find out more about you. I think yeah. you know we can close with that. Great. Um, so. You know, how can people find out about you and sign up for your webinars? Probably the best way is to go to ioninteractive.com. Okay. Um, and the website, we do have the webinars. We do a webinar at least every month. Yeah. Um, we just finished a responsive webinar. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up for landing page testing um, and uh, creating sort of interactive landing pages uh, that, that'll be exciting. But um, in addition, we have a lot of white papers, as you know, and, mm -hmm. and content, you know, blog, the blog. Uh, we talk a lot about best practices in the blog, so certainly anybody looking for best practices, I'd say hit up the website. Thank you. Thanks a lot for your time and I appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Marketing Optimization Podcast with Alex Design.